Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Truth Behind Xiaomi or Truth Behind MIUI updates. Now, this series has been going on for some time and in the last couple of months, I've not uploaded a video on this topic. But now that we have two new entrants in this particular category, that is correct, the Mi 11X and the Poco X3 Pro, I thought first we can go ahead and complete the series about the K20 Pro and then we can proceed. So in today's video, we have flashed the fast boot ROM of MIUI 11.0.3 we are going to look at a few benchmark numbers and we are going to then compare it to all the updates that this device got all the way from the time the device was released with which particular software version but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than thousand people talking to each other about these topics very very interesting conversations going on there so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so before we get to the serious stuff of comparing numbers, let's talk about this small update here in general. Now, this device, the K20 Pro got MIUI 11 in the form of MIUI 11.0.1, .1, which was, you know, a sort of a okayish update, not really that great, not really that bad. And at this time, this was more of a bug fix update for MIUI 11 or maybe updating the stability and stuff like that. So you will notice that nothing really has changed over here as far as the UI is concerned and I have been using this update since yesterday on this particular device to allow it to settle in maybe have a couple of chart cycles and see how the performance is and stuff like that I did also revisit all the features that were highlighted or advertised at the time of releasing this particular update to make sure that we don't miss out on anything now in general, if you talk about MIUI 11, you will see that compared to MIUI 12 or 12.5, it is generally very, very snappy. Now, that is something that I did say back in the day in my previous episode as well. You will see that you do have app icon animations over here, although they are not that pronounced, they are not that prominent. But if you look at this theme icon over here, it launches real quick and it you know sort of retracts back into that particular icon the camera application over here there you go there you go once again there you go so it's it's generally fast i don't know why they have relaxed it in miu 12 and 12.5 if you were to ask me I sort of like this look of applications even if it is not launching quickly it makes you feel that it's launching quick have a look at this there you go the animations are very very subtle very very quick and i don't know it really depends from person to person but for me it is working great and i sort of like these type of animations now apart from this the charging on this particular update was absolutely okay you know you have the 27 watt supercharger or super dart or fast charger whatever you want to call it sonic charger as they call it that was working fine the 18 watt charger that comes with this particular device was charging fine applications were opening okay the security patch was latest so at this point in time when you know the k20 pro was in the mid term of its life it was still performing great it was still doing a really really good job and from then on we go went on to receive a couple of updates and then finally yeah we saw something called as miui 12 and everybody knows what happened after that so this update for me has been pretty decent although the benchmark numbers are not the highest but if you ask me the ui feel is pretty pretty good pretty pretty smooth pretty pretty quick over and above everything if you ask me things open much much quicker as you can see there is no lag of you know the apps waiting to be loaded or the app being called from the system and then it will think and it will launch after a couple of seconds and stuff like that so all in all as i said this update was pretty pretty decent but what about the numbers now when we talk about the numbers let me tell you we started the season two which is this k20 pro season the season one was with pocophone f1 that is concluded now in season two it started with the first ever version with which the phone launched now this particular phone rafael in in india launched with miui 10.3.3 which was android 9 and then we went on to receive miui 10.3.5 which was still android 9 and 10.4.5 
4.7 was Android 10 and MIUI 11 0.1 was Android 10 and we still have Android 10 in this particular version so if you go to settings over here you go to about phone you do see that this is MIUI global 11.0.3 stable Android version is Android 10 right and security patch level is the 1st of November 2019 right now we are in august 2021 so this update is almost two years old it came out almost two years back and guess what we are still looking back at it and i still feel that this used to work great on this particular device so before we begin if you have an unlocked bootloader i directly went from the latest miui 12.5.5 china stable to this rom version using a fast boot rom i just selected clean flash i didn't even lock the bootloader and for me i did not have any issues with the sensors and stuff like that so if you wish you can try that but you've been warned try that at your own risk now the interesting part we will first have a look at the benchmark numbers and then we will compare them to the previous versions all right so first things first let's talk about the most famous benchmark over here which is antutu benchmark Okay, now when you talk about Antutu benchmark over here, 503,494, right? Now after that, we have something called as Geekbench, which is something I sort of trust. So let's go to Geekbench over here, 645 single core, 2611 multi-core. Decent numbers, not great or amazing numbers. Now, apart from this, we do have 3D Mark because 3D Mark does this slingshot extreme test in which you get to know the FPS and you sort of get an idea of how good or bad compared to the previous updates the gaming benchmark numbers are. So, if you go to 3D Mark, the score is 4865. You have all the other information here. So, if you want to check, you can go ahead and pause this video and you can have a look. Now, that is everything about the benchmark numbers of this current version, right? Now, I've also done a surprise test, something that we have started doing recently, which is CPU throttle test. We will not be including this in the score chart because we have not followed this since the beginning, but I will show you how it performs. Just a moment. All right. Now this is how it looks. It says CPU throttle to 71% of its max performance. Now from the looks of it, the throttling is really, really bad. But if you have a look over here, after about 10 minutes, it started throttling. So, you know, it's still bad. Just good to know information. And I will show you the same benchmark for other apps as other updates as well when I go ahead and test them, right? Now, the important part where we are going to put a chart on the screen, which will help us compare compared to other updates or the previous updates, if they have improved or, you know, they have decreased the performance and stuff like that, right? Now, as you can see on the screen, we will start with 3D Mark and then we will go to Geekbench Multicore Single Core and then we will move on to Antutu. So first, let's go ahead and talk about 3D Mark Benchmark. Right, now I, as you see over here in the first ever update that is MIUI 10.3.3, the 3D Mark score was 4889. Then we jumped up to 5250. Then we again came down to 4486. And now we are at 4865. So if you have a look, more or less, apart from the odd man out that is 10.3.5, we are still at the same performance. So they've not really degraded the performance as far as this update is concerned. Then we talk about Geekbench multi-core. Now 2472 in 10.3.3, 2608 in 10.3.5, and then in 10.4.7, 2524, Again, 2479 in 11.0.1 and 2611. So once again, you sort of have a decent multi-core score over there, but single core performance is what matters to game. And let's have a look at this baby over here. So in the first update, 10.3.3, we were sitting at 621. But once again, the odd man out, the second update, that is 10.3.5, I, I still feel it's pretty decent, this particular update. We got a single core score of 749. And then we moved on to 10.4.7, that is Android 10, 619, and then 621, and now 645. So more or less the same score from the beginning till the end, apart from 10.3.5 taking the cake over here as well. Now, Antutu is a benchmark, which I think is a biased benchmark or you know uh, companies can actually program their os or roms to 
detect ANTU2 and give you decent numbers. So let's have a look over here. So ANTU2 in 10.3.3 was 439,112 and then 442.83. Okay, look at the consistency over here. Then 425.801 in 10.4.7 and 501.642. Now this jump that you see over here in ANTU2 is not because Xiaomi improved performance, no. Antutu came up with a different method of scoring for devices. That is the reason you see 501,642 and now you see 503,494, right? So if you ask me still across the four different updates that we have tested, that is 10.3.3, 10.3.5, 10.4.7, 11.0.1, .1, and now we have 11.0.3. So more or less as far as the consistency of MIUI is concerned, if you compare all the scores from the first ever update till this particular update, the scores are very, very similar. But the surprise package over here is what happened with 10.3.5. Now in such videos or in such research, you will always find out that there is an odd man out. Either the performance goes extremely down, wherein the company made a mistake and then they fix it and bring it back to level. But in this case, it is inverse. It is the other way around. In 10.3.5, the 3D Mark score went up, the Geekbench multi-core went up, the Geekbench single core went up and Antutu disregard that. But what I would say here is even from MIUI 10.3.3 all the way to MIUI 11.0.3, the scores are consistent apart from 10.3.5. If you want, you can go ahead and try flashing 10.3.5 or I can make a video of how to downgrade to 10.3.5. But remember, we still have three or four videos left in which we are going to test the further versions of MIUI 12 and 12.5. 12.5 is an important iteration because they have improved performance. That is what I have felt. But how much, you know, it impacts the benchmark numbers, the whole UI feel as an experience of a person because I'm going to be using these MIUI software versions back to back. It is really, you know, something to be seen. So wait for the upcoming episodes. And if you are excited about what is happening now, you should be more excited because we are going to test similar things on the Mi 11X after 10th of August once this is unlocked. And we will start with the Poco X3 Pro because I've already downgraded it to the first ever Android and MIUI version with with which the phone launched and we will start benchmarking and doing exciting things it's a humble request please subscribe because most of our views 80 percent of our views are coming from people who have not subscribed it doesn't cost you anything hit the notification bell icon because we upload twice daily and we do a live stream as well let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye